Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kinsey. If you did not know that, then now you know and you guys today I'm going to be going over my 2024 luxury wish list. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kinsey. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but if any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button and give this video a like and ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the video. So yes, you guys, I'm super late to this video. I meant to do it and I even thought about doing it in February or even like at the very end of January when we got back from Italy, but I was just like, no, it's fine. I'm not gonna do it. But then I saw a few other people doing this video and I was like, oh man, I missed it. I should have done it. So it's the middle of March, almost the end of March, and I still wanted to do this video because we're in like the beginning part of the year. We're like just now getting into spring. I think it's fine. Should have been done in January, but whatever. Here we are anyways. I have a few bags that I wanted to talk about. It's five. Five bags, like a top five luxury handbag wish list for today's video. And these are like the holy grail bags that I want to add to my collection this year. If I could even add one of them, that'd be amazing because I know I can't add all five. That would be just insanity. Um, I love all of these bags. So let's get started. We're going to go from number five and that's going to be like my least wanted out of the top five. So I still want it very badly, but I want it less than like the number one spot. Number one is going to be like crazy insane. <laughs> Anyways, let's get started with number five. So on my number five spot, I have the Celine Mini Romy bag. Guys, I had no idea that this bag was coming out. I think it's so cute. I love the original Romy, but I haven't got it yet because I think it's a little too big. I'm not sure if it's my style. I love the hobo shape. I love the vibe of the bag, but it is just really, really big. And I don't think that I carry enough stuff to actually use such a big bag. <laughs> so I was hoping, I've even asked my essay before at my Celine store, hey, do you know if they're ever going to make the Romy in a smaller size? And he was like, oh, I don't know. Maybe that'd be great if they did. I hope so. But I never really got my hopes up. But guys, they did it. They did it. They made a mini Celine Romy bag. It's the cutest thing. It's already available. I would have already bought it, but I can't <laughs> because I recently just got one of my most wanted handbags of all time. Um, you haven't seen that video yet. I will, well, you might have seen the vlog. If you watch my vlogs, you would have already seen the bag. But I haven't posted the actual like sit down video yet unboxing this bag. So once you see that, you'll know why I can't buy the Celine Romy at the moment. But I love, love, love this bag. So hopefully in like a couple of months, maybe next time me and Raph go to Italy, I'll take a look at this because I think we're planning on going back sometime in May. If everything is well with her, then maybe we can take a trip to Paris. Then I'll definitely look to see about the Celine Romy in Paris or something. It only comes in one color, the tan color right now. I uh, Hopefully they will release in more colors if the Romy does well, the mini Romy sells a lot because I wouldn't get it in tan because I already have my Celine Ava Triumph bag in the tan color. So I wouldn't get another one in that color. I would want to get it in a different color. So maybe in the next couple of collections, they'll come out with more colors. Or, oh my God, do they have it? They have it in another color. Oh my goodness. I didn't know this. They have it in a color called light stone. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to my Celine essay and ask him about this. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna take some screenshots and then I'm gonna have to send it to my Celine essay because this is the type of color that I was looking for. Damn it. Okay, anyways. <laughs> That's the Celine Mini Romy. Love it, love it, love it. It's adorable. On my number four spot, I have a D-Joy. Okay, listen, I have wanted a D-Joy for a little while. I was actually going to get a D-Joy while I was in Italy last time, but I just didn't pull the trigger because I'm just unsure about the D-Joy. I really like it and I like the medium size in particular because I like it that it's a little bit bigger and that I'd be able to fit more stuff in. But I know that the most popular size is the small size. And for spring 2024, Dior came out with this purple small D-Joy and I have lost my mind over it. 
I think it is the cutest thing that I have ever seen. I love this color purple that they chose. Let me look it up. I just wish so badly that they had done this in a medium also. I kind of understand why they didn't. Sometimes where if a bag is colored, sometimes I feel like in the bigger sizes, it could be too much. It could be like, oh, that's just, that's too much blue. That's too much purple. That's too much pink. But a small size like in like a pastel pink or a pastel purple would be just like just enough. So I understand why they went with the small D-Joy instead of the medium because I'm obsessed with it. It's the cutest thing ever. I love it so much. I absolutely love the hardware on this. If I can show you just a picture of the hardware. So if you can see this, I've taken screenshots. It's got the Dior little charms on it, right? But they're purple. They're purple and gold. And they're it's kind of like this enamel situation, but it's like a raised enamel. I don't know how to explain it, but I absolutely love this type of hardware on this bag. I'm obsessed with it. Of course, it comes with the crossbody strap. Can't wait to try that on in Italy or in Paris or wherever we end up going. That's gonna be the first thing that I try on there. Number three on my list today, you guys, is going to be a bag that I've wanted ever since going to Italy and I saw it in person. And it's the small Louis Vuitton side trunk. I've never been a side trunk girly. I have seen these bags over and over and over again on YouTube and it's like the medium size, the regular side trunk and I don't like it. I think it's too big, but they recently came out with like a small side trunk and I am literally obsessed. I keep saying obsessed in this video. I feel like that is the word for this video. It's called the side trunk PM. Oh my god, I love it so much. I have seen this bag many times in store because every time I go to the Louis Vuitton store, I see if they have it and I ask to try it on because I am just so in love with it. I absolutely love the slouchiness. I love that it has like the monogram canvas as the front bit, but on the sides, it's very structured and it has that like gold, I don't know, gold plating on each corner, if that makes any sense. And then the sides are very stiff and then in the middle is that really squishy monogram canvas and I love it and I love that it's so slouchy that it has like that dip in the middle I'm obsessed with that I also personally love the way you open this I know my mom would hate it because it's too many steps I love that it has the little s lock I think that's what it's called the s lock on the front so then because I love the s lock I have it on my pochette Matisse East West I think it's so pretty but it has the little lock on the side so you have to squeeze it in and then the little pull tab it gets free I guess and then you can open it I'm not making any sense but I just love the way that you open it and I think that the s lock just adds that little bit of extra oomph to this bag I feel like this one is going to be one that I definitely buy this year if I if I can I love this one and now we're up to my final two my number two on my list you guys I feel like I've gone backwards I feel like I have told you guys many times that I'm done with this brand. I'm done with this company. They suck. <laughs> I don't want any more bags from them. But alas, I have been pulled back in. This brand is like a toxic relationship that I just can't get out of. And that's Chanel. <laughs> I know. I know. I don't. I know. I know. I want more Chanel classic flops. <laughs> This is probably not going to happen and I'm just living in like Delulu land because Chanel Classic Flaps are so damn expensive that like, I don't know who I think I am. I can't do that. Like I physically cannot be buying Chanel Classic Flaps. I just want it in my head. If I got another one, it would have to be in Paris because number one, they're the cheapest in Paris. Like at the Rue Cambon store, it's the cheapest in Europe, I think, to buy a classic flap. And then Chanel gives you 13% back on your tax refund, which is insane. So that would be the place where only I could justify buying another Chanel classic flap. And I'm definitely gonna have a look when we go to Paris. You know, just to see, just kind of like, see what's available. <laughs> I'm in Delulu land, but I do have a couple on my list that I really, really like. So number one is going to be the 2023 P light blue classic flap. And this is kind of like, I'm gonna put a picture up, but it's not going to like do it justice. It's gonna look way too sky blue. And this blue I've seen on video is like a periwinkle, like a purpley blue. It's so beautiful. And it's in caviar. The next Chanel bag, 
bag if I ever get one I want it to be in caviar I have two lambskin classic flaps and I want one in a caviar so that would be my next pick if I get another one love this 23p blue color I think it's absolutely beautiful it's got light gold hardware and I would definitely see if they had it in the store when we go to Paris because I think it would just look so cute. It'd be a fantastic spring summer bag. And then another one that's kind of on my list uh, would be, you know, it would be amazing if I were able to get it, but if I can't, then it's fine. But I would like to get like a white classic flap, like a kind of creamy color, not a stark white. You know, you've seen those vintage ones that are just straight up white, stark white. I'm not sure if I would want one of those. I did at some point. I love the stark white on the classic flaps and I think they're beautiful. But I think at this point, because I want a caviar bag and I think those stark white bags only come in lambskin or those are the only ones that I've seen them in. I've only seen them in lambskin. I would want one that has like a tiny bit of creaminess to it and I want all of these that I talk about in a small. I think the small classic flaps are like my favorite now. I love the small ones. We'll just see. I'm probably not going to be able to add another classic flap into my collection this year but you know one can dream. And then number one you guys, number one bag on my wish list for 2024 is going to be, say it with me, an Hermes Birkin. <laughs> Guys, I again, I don't know who I think I am. I don't know what kind of fantasy la la land that I have my head in right now, but I just I, I want a Birkin so badly. Again, we're are, we're going to try to go to Paris this year when we go back to Italy, and then I'm going to try my luck. I'm going to try to get an appointment, see if I can get my name drawn from the little appointment hat. Lord knows I'm going to be putting in my name. I'm going to be making an appointment for myself and then making an appointment for Raph. <laughs> so I have double the shot to get an appointment. If I can I get an appointment my life is gonna be forever changed I am turning 30 this year which is insane so if I could get like a Birkin 25 I know normally people do like a Birkin 30 for their 30th birthday or Birkin 25 for the 25th or whatever I still just want a 25 I don't want a Birkin 30 I want a Birkin 25 I'm actually pretty open to the color and the leather I would love to see what they have available I would never be the same I just wouldn't I would be so happy my main colors that I would love to get is of course Birkin 25 gold on gold. I don't know if that is even possible anymore. Um, maybe I would even look at the black with the gold hardware. I think that one's beautiful. But also I wouldn't mind looking at the color a tube or looking at the color of this one called clay. Clay? I'm not saying that right. It's kind of like a off-white kind of beigey color which I think is really pretty. Any kind of neutral I'd be down with except for gray. I don't want gray and I don't want anything that's too yellow toned but any kind of neutral color I would be happy and open-minded to just because I think that they're all just so beautiful. Even honestly if they came out with a Birkin 25 and blue broom, blue broom I'm saying that wrong but I also love that color. Again it's very much like the Chanel 23P that I showed you. It's kind of like a periwinkle blue. If they gave me one in that I would be very happy with it as well. But guys I'm living in fantasy world. I love Birkins. I've wanted a Birkin for as long as I could remember but guys that has been my top five bags that I would like to add to my collection in 2023. Again if I could add even one of these to my collection it would be a score. It'd be a great. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this video. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments also so if you have bags on your wish list that you really want to add this year, let me know what those are in the comments. Just leave me a comment telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, thank you again for watching this video today. I really hope that you did enjoy it. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!